In this video, we will discuss on two topics from chapter electricity and the first topic is electric power and the second topic is heating effect of electric current. So let us move to the first topic that is electric power. Nowadays, each and every house has electricity connection and we use the electricity for different purposes that is to run different electrical appliances just like charging mobile, watching TV, in lighting homes, to play the audio system etc. And we use these electrical appliances for different time. And sometimes we may use two or three electrical appliances at the same time. Sometimes we may not use any of the electrical appliances also. The consumption of the electrical energy it depends on time and number of electrical device used. More the number of electrical device used, then the electrical energy consumed will be more and also for longer the electrical device used, then energy consumed will be more. If we divide the electric energy consumed by time, then it gives electric power. And here we define the electrical power as the rate at which electric energy is consumed or dissipated in an electric circuit. While we are using any electrical appliances, most of the electric energy will be consumed by it, but a small amount of energy will be wasted, which is given to the surrounding in the form of heat. This means, when an electric current flows through any conductor, the resistance of the conductor will oppose the flow of current through them, and as a result, the conductor or the wire gets heated up. So this heat is given to the surrounding. The formula for the power is potential difference into current. Therefore, power equals to V into I. And also using the Ohm's law, V equals to IR, the formula can be modified and can also be written as I square R and V square by R. So all these three are related to the power. While solving the numerical problem, if the current and the potential difference is given in the question, then we use the first formula directly to obtain the electric power. And if the current and the resistance is given, then we use the second formula directly. And also if the voltage and the resistance is given in the question, then we can use the third formula directly to calculate the electric power. The SI unit of electric power is Watt, so it is represented by capital W. Sometimes in the exam, the question may come like define 1 Watt power or when the power is said to be 1 Watt. So at that time, we have to define 1 Watt power as the power consumed by a device when 1 ampere of current passes through it at the potential difference of 1 volt. So this definition we get from the formula of power. So, this is the formula of power voltage into current. When the potential difference is 1 volt and the current flowing through the device is 1 ampere, then it will be 1 into 1 is 1 volt ampere. So, that in another words we say 1 watt power. Electric power is measured in SI unit called watt, but the electric energy which is consumed in our houses will be measured in unit called kilowatt hour. So, this kilowatt hour is called the commercial unit of electric energy. We all are familiar with this device. Each and every house has this device where there is electricity connection. This device is used to calculate the amount of electricity consumed and depending upon the reading shown in this device, the electricity bill has to be paid. In every meter, you will see the measuring unit kilowatt hour. So here it is written KWH which means the measuring unit will be kilowatt hour and here kilowatt hour. Now we discuss about the next topic heating effect of electric current. If an electric circuit consists of resistors only connected to the battery, the source energy continuously gets dissipated entirely in the form of heat. This is known as heating effect of electric current. Here we consider a circuit 
where the source or the battery is connected to the resistor only and the energy stored in the battery will be continuously decreased and that energy is given out by the resistor in the form of heat to the surrounding actually what happens here is when the current flows from the battery from the positive terminal to the negative terminal through the resistance and the conducting wire the resistance of the wire as well as the resistor will try to oppose the flow of current due to this the wire as well as the resistor gets heated up and the heat will be produced and that heat will be given to the surrounding so here the electrical energy is converted into heat and that heat is given to the surrounding so in this way the electrical energy of the battery or the source here gets continuously decreased the heat produced in any electric circuit depends upon the current the resistance and the time of flow of current here we are going to study about the Joule's law of heating effect of electric current the law states that the heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to the square of current directly proportional to the resistance for a given current and directly proportional to the time for which the current flows through the resistor from A heat is directly proportional to the square of current and from B heat is directly proportional to the resistance and from C heat is directly proportional to the time of flow of current so if we combine all these three then heat is directly proportional to the square of current resistance and time so S equals to I square RT so this is the formula related to the heat and here also using the ohms law the formula for the heat can also be written as current into voltage into time and also voltage square by resistance into time so this is the formula for the heat and the heat is measured in SI unit called Joule and it is represented by capital J the heat which is produced due to the flow of current through a conductor is sometimes desirable and sometimes undesirable so first let us study about the disadvantages of heating effect of electric current so number one when current flows through a conductor a part of it is wasted in the form of heat so not 100 percent of the electric energy is utilized a small part of it will be wasted in the form of heat here we consider a simple circuit where a bulb is connected to the battery and if the plug key is switched on then the current starts to flow through the wire and the bulb will glow the thing is here whatever the energy is given out by the battery 100 percent energy is not utilized by the bulb so apart from it a small amount of energy will be given out by the wire in the form of heat so a small part of energy will be wasted the second disadvantage that i have listed here is the heat produced can damage the electrical appliances heat will always be produced in an electrical appliances and if the heat produced by the electrical appliances is very large then the electrical appliances may get damaged so just like for an example we often use mobile phones and we use mobile phone for a very long time the phone gets heated up so if we keep on using the mobile phone for a very long time then the heat produced in it may damage the mobile phone here i have listed some of the electrical appliances that we use in our homes and if we use these electrical appliances for a very long time then the heat produced by it may damage the electrical appliances so if we watch the tv for a very long time then the tv also gets heated up and if we use the bulb for a very long time then also the heat will be produced and we will not be able to toss the bulb also the monitor the cpu here all works on the current and due to it 
the heat will be produced. Rice cooker works on the heating effect of current. And this electric jar or the electric boiler, it also works on the heating effect of current where the heat is produced. And this iron also works based on the heating effect of current. So if the heat produced by the iron is very large, then your clothes may get burned. The third disadvantage is need additional cooling system to encounter the heating effect. This adds to the cost. Due to the heating effect of the current, we need to put some extra component on the electrical appliances which will reduce heat. So for example here on the left side, uh, inside this CPU here, there will be a electric fan. So this fan reduces the heat by blowing air into the CPU and similarly here on the right side it is a bottom part of the laptop and here you will see the electric fan so which will reduce the heat that is produced inside the laptop and will help to improve the performance of the laptop. This is the back side of LCD TV and in this you can see there are two fans which is used to reduce the heat produced by the TV and will allow you to watch the TV for longer time without getting damage. So this fan we are adding extra component to the TV just because of heating effect of the current. The heating effect of electric current not only has disadvantages but it has advantages also. So here we will study about the useful application of heating effect of electric current. The first is heating effect is utilized in devices such as electric heater, electric iron, electric oven, electric kettle, etc. So now you are seeing the electric iron and below it is the different parts of the iron. We focus mainly on this heating element. Now the question is what makes the iron very hot? So it is this heating element which makes the iron very hot because when we switch on the iron, the current will flow through this heating element and this heating element is made up of nichrome which is an alloy and it has very high resistance. Due to high resistance, it will oppose the flow of current and the heat will be produced in this heating element. And this heat is utilized to iron the clothes. So this is how we utilize heat produced by the electric current. And this is the electric room heater. If you switch on the heater, then the current will flow through the heating element here inside it. And due to the flow of current through the heating element, the heating element will get heated up and that heat produced by the heating element will be utilized to warm the room. The second useful application of heating effect is electric fuse works on the heating effect of electric current. So let us understand how the electric fuse works. Now this is the picture of electric fuse which is most commonly used in household wiring. In this fuse a short fuse wire is used which is here. This wire has low melting point. As we know, the flow of large current through an electrical appliances may damage the appliances. So, when the large current flows through the fuse wire, it gets melted and break the circuit, which will not further allow to flow the large current through it and saves the other electrical appliances. This is how the fuse works and is very useful safety device. The third useful application of heating effect is incandescent bulb works based on this effect. So now we will discuss what is incandescent bulb and how does it work. This is a picture of incandescent bulb. The main part of this incandescent bulb is the wire which is used here. So this wire is made up of tungsten. The tungsten wire has very high resistance. 
when the current is supplied to the bulb then the current will flow through the tungsten wire and this tungsten wire which have higher resistance will get heated up and when the wire is excessively heated then it will emit the light which is used for lighting the home so in this way the incandescent bulb works based on the heating effect of electric current